Well, uh, I think that there is a lot of goodness uh, in uh, whoever is teaching something online, uh, but there is just one caveat. You mm. have to follow a credible teacher, right? Mm. So the person you're following on social media, on YouTube, has to know his audience, right? Uh, oh. And that's why like, we made a post recently, five IL stars that, you know, we, we really have no doubt about their credentials, like uh, Paul and Colin, for example, mm -hmm. uh, who's actually been involved in the IELTS uh, sphere for decades. Yeah. She's not only prepared tests herself, she's also a teacher, an examiner, right? But, uh, okay, I, I know some, some, some people don't like following Uzbek IELTS teachers, mm. but they know our uh, ways and fails better than the, the English mm. or anyone who is you know, teaching abroad. So I think that, yes, follow the inter in international teachers and follow your local teachers, but don't get uh, picky, like some people follow everybody. But the problem with that is that uh, when you have one IELTS expert suggesting something, suggesting A, and the other uh, IELTS expert suggesting B, then the student is confused. Yeah. Uh, I have some of my students tell me, well, you're saying this, but I heard this person say X. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, look, <laughs> it's their method, and this is my method. Yeah. Take it or leave it. Right? Yeah, so don't follow everybody. Follow credible teachers. That would be my suggestion.